Hi guys, so I want to put you onto this legal research tool and it's different to the ones that I've shown in the past and the reason why is because this is the first global legal research tool out there and as a result it's the very first global um, legal assistant tool out there. So we've uh, sort of talked about this uh, a bit in past videos where we said that a lot of the legal research tools are restricted to US searches or Canada and they don't search other jurisdictions, say in um, in Asia or in Australia or um, the UK. So what you'll tend to do is you'll have to have one legal research tool for one thing, and then you have to try to look for other resources to help you. So just to give you a bit of a tour of this um, application, this is the dashboard. Really, really cool, um, easy to use. So unlike the other platforms we've, um, we've reviewed, this one doesn't have um, like a co-pilot that helps you um, that you can, you know, that you can give instructions um, through natural language and then it'll tell you, click here for this and it'll help you with research. But Vincent AI, I'm hoping does that. I'm not too sure, um, but I would like to think that that's a feature that they're going to add. So first things first, you go to uh, the homepage and then once you click the homepage, this is what you'll get. And then here's where you will do all your searching. So if you click here, you'll be able to select the jurisdiction. And uh, like we said, you don't have to stick to the States. You can extend your uh, search to um, Argentina, Barbados, Islands, uh, France, Australia, anywhere you want, really, uh, including South Africa and Nigeria. So um, that's where you do like your general search right here. And then you also have the option of doing your advanced search here or here. It's the same thing. So uh, you could click advanced search here or that tool I've just shown you. And what you really do is uh, you're refining your search. So you're refining your search to uh, maybe primary or secondary uh, resources. Um, you could also search according to phrases, words, and things like that, um, or dates. And so you can really refine your search. Uh, let me try show you here. So once you've gotten um, a set of results, so you do your general search here, then they give you a general set of results. From there, you can actually refine your search right here. So here's where you can uh, modify whether you're looking at a certain uh, uh, time or date. And then you can select um, articles that they've picked out, um, cases that they've picked out. And from that, you can create a folder and save your information there. So VLEX offers um, a cloud services um, they are a cloud services provider, so you can store your information on the cloud and not necessarily just on your desktop. And you can also set alerts. So if you're waiting for a, a judgment um, and, you, and you want an alert for that, you can get that. If you want an alert for um, newfound information that's pertaining to whatever research area you're looking at, you can click right here. And then you can also download information um, here. So download your cases and um, you know legislation and whatever it is you're trying to download. And then here's where it gets really, really cool. So we've just discussed about um, the cloud computing services that they offer. But when you've downloaded your information, you're not restricted to just drafting in a silo. So you look at your, your resources and then you're drafting, look at your resources and then you're drafting. What you can do is you can add a plugin um, that's basically uh, Vincent AI or the AI research tool. And when you plug it into your word processor, as you're drafting, you'll get recommendations from VLEX. And so when you're drafting, it will um, help you widen your search, give you recommendations, talk about things you haven't uh, thought of, and it'll help you with referencing. So your citations, links to authorities, and things like that. And so that's what Vincent AI is um, geared to do as a legal research assistant. So here's what you could do. If you don't use it as a plugin, you could draft your document by yourself without their recommendations. And then you could just upload it here and then it would um, help you with your citations and then give you a list of relevant um, recommended materials. So there's two options. You can either add it as a plugin or you can use it online. And then down here is where you can basically receive uh, news, international news, local news, um, news pertaining to a specific area of the law, you can just edit your preference uh, over here. So um, that's pretty much it. Here's where you get your folders. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's simple, but I think you shouldn't overlook how simple it is. Um, it's really um, powerful and it's more, um, it's more, uh, what's the word for it? It's more expensive than the other platforms we've looked at in the sense that 
you get um, to look at other jurisdictions, you get to compare with other jurisdictions. And I think with VLEX, what they're trying to do is to create a platform that's inclusive to everybody else. And I think in that sense, it helps even with um, its recommendations and research. When you're training a larger uh, sample, you obviously will get more accurate results. And for people who are living in other jurisdictions that aren't um, given the same opportunities, I think this is a really cool tool for you to check out. Thanks, guys, for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.